Today, we are taking you on an adventure to Melbourne Cable Park. Melbourne Cable Park caters for the whole family, so if you feel like some fun in the sun, this is the place for you. Melbourne Cable Park is 44 kilometres from Melbourne city centre and will take you about 40 minutes by car. Today, Real Fun Lifestyle and Fishing brings you down to Melbourne Cable Park in Bang Home near Patterson River. I'm gonna take you through a couple of fun things here to do. So while the boys are out trying to catch some fish, we're gonna check out the Aqua Fun Park and some new exciting things that are here at Melbourne Cable Park. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go check it out. At Melbourne Cable Park, one of their favorite attractions is the Aqua Fun Park. Minimum age is five years and kids between five and nine must be accompanied by an adult. Tickets start at $25 and include a rental life jacket. So now we're down here at the Aqua Fun Park. We're gonna go have a chat with Michael. He's gonna take us through a couple of really important things to remember. Safety is their number one priority down here at Melbourne Cable Park. So let's see what we need to know. Hey Michael. Thanks Tracy. Hi everyone. Welcome to Melbourne Cable Park and this is the Aqua Fun Park. We're your lifeguards for the day. So if there is anything you need, I want a big wave and a big lifeguard lifeguard. Can everyone do that for me please? Lifeguard, okay. lifeguard. Hey, there's a lot of noise out there, a lot of fun, a lot of screaming. You might have to be a bit louder than that. So lifeguard, lifeguard. Lifeguard, lifeguard. Ah, uh, that's much better. Plus well, it is the Aqua Fun Park. We do like to keep the place fun. And doing that, there are a few rules to keep everyone safe as well. On your mark. That is it. Go. While we were here, we met up with Ian Clark, the owner and operator of Melbourne Cable Park. Thank you so much for having us. I'd love to have you here. So I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions about Melbourne Cable Park. Now, can you tell us, how did the idea start for the place? Well, we've been involved in the water sports industry now for probably 15, 20 years. And in Europe in particular, where they don't have as much access to boats, cables yeah. been really taken off and it's really shot up a bit. And the big game changer we saw was that it takes away the barriers. You don't need a boat, you don't need a driver, you don't need mum or dad, you don't need to drive a long way. You can actually just to come to a, a train station, you know, two or three kilometres away, and this is available to you. Beautiful. You don't need to bring any gear. We provide the life jackets, the helmets, all the information that you need, coaching, instruction, etc. And you can do so in a safe environment. Great. And are you guys the only one in Victoria? Or we are. You are? Yeah, so um, it took about five years of red tape to get going. And then after we got through the regulation and all the approvals, and oh, there's a happy customer coming there through. How's it going? Um, it, uh, it only took us about 150 days to actually get it built. Okay. So the next nearest facility, um, similar to this, is up in Penrith at Cables Wake Park in Sydney. Excellent. And how long has Melbourne Cable Park been here? Um, we opened the cable in um, April. So yeah. yeah. Okay. In 2017, we opened the Aqua Park, which I know you guys were down at earlier today. Yeah, had great and time. We opened that in January. And um, we're just about to, next week, first week of December, we're opening um, the latest edition, which is um, the first installation of the Crystalton Climb System. And that's the first installation in the Southern Hemisphere, I should say. Um, and that's being opened as Climb Melbourne. And what age group would something like that cater for? This starts at ages three to eight at a kindergarten level. So at ground level, the kids can actually be wearing a full harness. They can get out in the equipment. Mum and dad can walk alongside them. Yep. And then from six years upwards, we can take you right through to the top of the tower. And then probably about mid-December, we're going to be opening up the viewing platform up the top. So Nana can come along and pop along and see the grandkids and actually have a good time without actually having to buy a ticket. 
yeah. she can actually come along and, and have some fun with the grandkids. So it sounds like Granddad can too. It really is a place for the whole family. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. At Melbourne Cable Park, they bring wakeboarding to life. With the ability to wakeboard without a boat, riders just grab the handle attached to the overhead cable and off you go. There are no set session times, the cable runs non-stop all day. Summer hours are between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. every day of the week, including most public holidays. Tickets start from $49 and a full range of memberships are available. There are three lakes in total, two full-size cable wakeboarding lakes, a giant aqua fun park, a ninja aqua park, and Melbourne's newest urban high ropes course, the 19 metre climb Melbourne Tower. Myself and the family have had so much fun down here today. So whether you're experienced or just looking for something fun to do, this place caters for all age groups, all school groups, all community groups. So if you're looking for something fun to do, come down to Melbourne Cable Park.